A lot can be achieved through a simple prompt. But to guide a large language model to get to a specific and more accurate output, you need to up your prompting game. One of the greatest ways to do so is by showing the language model certain examples. Examples of how you want the work to be done. These examples are called shorts. And in this video, we'll talk about uh, three prompting techniques, zero shot, one shot, and finally few shot prompting, and show you how it will improve your prompting skills. Also guys, do not forget uh, to check out our other videos in this Prompt Engineering 101 series. On this note, let's start. The difference between zero shot prompting, one shot prompting, and uh, few shot prompting lies in how many examples you show to the model. This is how zero shot prompting looks like. It is the most basic form of prompting. It simply shows the model a prompt without examples and ask it to generate a response. How does the model answer this? So the models like ChatGPT are tuned to follow instructions and are trained on large amounts of data. They are capable of performing uh, some tasks zero shot. Let me show you an example. If you ask the large language model what is 2 plus 2, it will answer you correctly as it has been trained to do so. Similarly, if you give this particular prompt, the output will be neutral. Here we didn't provide the model with any examples whatsoever of text alongside this classification. Uh, the LLM already understands what sentiment is and how to compute it. That's how zero short capabilities of LLM work. One-shot prompting takes uh, the concept of zero-shot to a step further. One-shot prompting is when you show the model a single example. The model then uses uh, this single example to understand and generate text accordingly. Here's an example. Let's say you want to translate a sentence from English to French. So you put the prompt and instead of telling the model explicitly to translate it to French, you just give a simple example. And look, the LLM automatically translates the sentence into French. This is how one-shot prompting works. Now, zero-shot and one-shot prompting give remarkable results, but they can still fall short on uh, more complex tasks. Here comes few-shot prompting. As the name suggests, few-shot prompting involves providing a few labeled examples in the prompt. Let me show you how this works. For this prompt, let's say you want the answer to be either true or false. But if you only put uh, this prompt, the model will give you uh, this specific answer and not the response you want. This shows that uh, there is a need for more advanced prompt engineering. Now let's try the same prompt with a few examples. We put in the prompt with multiple examples and look at the answer now. Few short prompting has much more impact. Moreover, as this table shows, few short has a higher overall performance and accuracy than zero short and one short prompting combined. Not just that, the performance improves as we increase the number of examples. In the world of generative AI, prompting has become a bridge between large language models and practical language based tasks. So next time, use these prompting techniques, add examples and improve your overall interaction with large language models. These techniques will get more complex tasks done easily and with higher accuracy. So guys, that's all we had for you in today's video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to our channel for more interesting data tech content. See you in the next video. Bye.